back again. We are back again, and we are going to start a new series. Let's just get right to it. Let's just get right to it. The wait is finally over. We are getting straight into a new Monster Hunt game. For now, I'm going to start with a guide this time. I feel as though I've been... I've been always using the girl character in most of my series, so I might as well just change it up a bit. Right, then. What kind of hair what kind of hairstyles can we even do? I could try and randomize it, but I don't want it to look absolutely atrocious, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And if you can tell by my voice, I am just completely not in it right now. I mean I'm not too sick, I'm just like having a bit of a sore throat. So Hopefully it doesn't impact the um, the commentary too much. Until then, I have no idea how I'm going to customize this guy. I'm not really the kind of person who just put too much effort into having my character look a certain way. Alright, let's just go for that. So now he's got like a claw mark on him. Oh really? You can't have another scar on the other side of your face? Oh, that's lame. Um. Oh yeah, I, I I genuinely don't care about the look of my um my character right now. His nose is perfect the way it is. Um. Yeah. Ask her. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Ah, the voices. The voices. Let's see what kind of... Wait, let me just lower up the volume a little bit. Because that is one of the big, um... The big additions that they've added into this game is having your character actually speak. Okay, now, Type 8 is very... Very, um... Oh my god, what kind of voice is that? You can have girl characters for a guy, that's amazing. Yeah, I like Type A, he's got that bit of a swag to that kind of voice. Oh wow, you can actually like, choose what kind of animations he does. Alright, that's alright then. Let's give him a really angry sort of person. A sort of pissed off person, or like a... Happy, go lucky guy, nah. I like angry dude. There we go. Uh, what else? Clothing. It looks like he's, a, he's like a CrossFit athlete or whatever. No, it doesn't really matter. Um, what kind of colors we got? Yeah, all this is just like a prerequisite. It doesn't really matter too much in the grand scheme of things. Um, uh, alright, that's it. And the name of this guy will be... I have no idea what his name is. Doesn't really matter too much. You know what? I'm gonna name him after the um after the ship that's been stuck in the Suez Canal. I have no idea why, but I've been looking at videos of that last night, and that's the only thing I can think of right now. So there you go, that's ever given. That's the guy that's gonna get stuck right into a monster's way, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's just the only thing I can think of right now at this moment of time. But yeah. Also, I'm terribly sorry if I have like a block nose. I try my best not to breathe into the mic. Alright, the Palomir. I gotta make this guy look as good as possible. How kind of. You can get like a sort of pattern to his fur as well. Oh, that looks nice. I want to keep it black. Oh my goodness. It's like a very like grey gray little doggy. Eyes. Oh, I don't want it to be damaged. Oh, look at that thing. It's like he's got constant puppy eyes whenever he's looking at you. 
Oh no, I'm picking that one. I'm gonna have it blue. Although that looks really weird having a dog have like really human colored eyes. Let's change up a bit. Have him look like a husky. Who's got like two different kinds of eyes. What can I? Uh... I like that one. Makes him look like a bit like a German Shepherd. Alright, what kind of tail can we do? I want to make this thing as furry as possible. I don't really think any sort of coloring would be great for the clothing, but it's alright now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a high pitch for him. Uh, I wish I could make this thing. Um, oh wow, it's actually a lot darker than he is. All right, okay, I can deal with that. All right, should be all right. I don't know why I should name him. Because I want to name my my palico Friday because that's like the um my tradition is like calling my cats the day that I start my series. So I'm not really sure what I should call this guy. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna break the tradition. I am breaking the tradition. No, not friendly. All right. And then I'll call my palic or something else. There we go. And now for my cat. Oh my god, he looks like a little grey panda. I'm not caring too much about the um the Oh my god, that make that thing <laughs> It looks like he's scheming or something. No, I like this one better. It makes him look like he's a, he's a caring individual. Yeah, I'll give you some brown eyes. Why not? Okay, the ears make him look lovely. Oh no, I like that one. It makes him look like a Scottish fold. Alright, what kind of tail has he got? Nah, that's alright. I, pr I prefer the, um, the really fluffy looking tail. Clothing doesn't really matter. Oh, I want that one. It makes it sound like he's really whiny. Healer, assist, fight. Nah, I prefer this one. And then my um, my Palka will be the one that deals all the damage. All right, that's it. All right, I don't know why I should call him. Yeah, screw it. Let's call him Picardy. I don't know why. I don't drink the alcohol, so but it sounds nice. Makes it sound like he's constantly sober. Alright, here we go, that's it. Character is done. Let's just get right to it. Also, I chose the um, the voice actor to be in old Japanese just to keep the theme going. I don't know why, it's just it. I seem to it's a bit more appropriate for us to have that kind of voice going for the series. Oh my goodness, is this going to be our introduction? I don't know about you, but they just look really creepy to me. It's like everyone is just simping to these women, but me, I'm just like, why are you in my house? I think it's, this isn't really my house. I think I'm just like, my character has just joined in, I think, to this new village. Alright, 
right, let's go. I'm liking the salt gear that we have. There goes the elder dragon that we're gonna fight later on. Wait, why have they not noticed that? I'm just gonna completely ignore that dragon that's just like floating around. Alright, Kamora Village. Let's get right to it. I don't know how I'm gonna do the um, the format of this series because I know that there's not very much monsters in this game at the moment. So I might. I'm, I'm sorry if I just bumped into a mic. <laughs> that is fucking embarrassing. Um, I might do several videos on just one monster, like testing out the different weapons for it. So it'll be like a little gauntlet, but I won't be able to do like 14, all 14 weapons for that like, one monster. This is gonna take too much time, but yeah. I might try and do that later on. And once again, I do apologize if my voice is very groggy. It just sounds more appropriate if, like, they're speaking in Japanese in this game, I feel. It really sets the tone to everything. Rampages. Well, every single monster is just barging into one location. I cannot wait. さと the lip syncing is actually impressive. I don't know if like they've done that for both languages. Or free I should say with the Monsanto language as well. But for now it's really good. Also, is that going with Iron? Or with Varian? Oh Jesus, I forgot fucking voice. Oh no, he's not he's just a regular person. Just say his his teeth is weird. Okay, so that's the um, the merchant. He does all the selling. Yes. All right, here we go. Just wait for a moment. Uh, I can't. I can't fucking do this, man. So you can still drive your your dog when you're in the village. So this guy is the guy that we're gonna be we're gonna be buying all our stuff from. There's the blacksmith.
I don't know what that location's from. Alright, so that's where we start and um, get our eating from. So what kind of weapons can we make right now? Oh, not now. And then right there's where we go and eat our stuff. That's our chest where we put all the stuff in. Of course, of course, the first weapon I choose or I get is the um, the long sword. Of course, I have to. We're going all in on this um this Japanese feel, aren't we, lad? I need to look at what kind of weapons you can make. Well. Not right now because we still haven't even we haven't gone for all the people we can speak to. I mean, I'm guessing this is the hub. No, oh, there's his sister. This guy. That fucking Tetsukabra at the bottom, I swear. He's the most. I was gonna say ugly, he's not really too ugly. I sound like a really cute kind of ugly. Although I really wish a Tetsukabra was here. And there's this guy. I'll be using the camera anytime soon. Only in certain um, certain situations, like if I want to get like a like a thing for the thumbnail. There we go. Let me take a picture of my dog. Oh, look at him! Struck a pose. There we go. That's adorable. Alright, what else can we take a picture of? I can like be a really... Really cre creepy guy and just like, zoom in on people. No, I won't do that to him. Oh, I want to take a picture of the tadpole. Or the tetsukabra. Look at this goofy thing. Oh, he wants to take a picture of himself. Oh, really? Okay. Let's do a pose or something. Really? You're just gonna have that? One handsome devil Joe. Oh, great. Another monster that's not in this game. I really shouldn't be, like, spoiling anything right now, because I've spoiled it myself, so I don't really want to keep saying things. I've already done that. Come on, alright. Okay, so, now let's go and do our first quest. She's so soft-spoken as well. It's adorable. Oh, here comes our owl. That is one of the few things I don't really know what, what it does. Because I haven't been looking too many videos into it. Alright, what do we call our, our owl? I have no idea, I'm just gonna call him this.
There we go. Not very inspiring, but it'll do. Alright. Time to do some... Do some... Do some real action right now. I forgot what I was gonna, <laughs> gonna fucking say. Let's do some quests is what I'm trying to say. Come on. I feel like I'm really impatient with this, but... I just really want to get into the action. Oh my god, is that the um the place where we need to go to start a quest? Oh my goodness. Okay, what kind of option? Oh! So they split it. So you can speak to the NPC, but you also got like different other quests that you can do. Oh no, there's just some... Um, these are the things that you do while you're on a quest. Well, I peaked the mic again, I'm sorry. Um, Alright. Manage equipment. Alright. Finally, we can finally, like, choose the type of weapons we can use without, like, Having it locked or buying things, I like try. So this was good. Um, it's a starting quest anyway, so it's not really that important. So we'll just go with whatever. But the designs on these things are incredible, I tell you. This isn't like in World and Iceborne, where like the designs are just a bit. It depends on like, what kind of weapon you have. Okay, let's go. Let us go. Shrine ruins. This is every single intro that we're gonna have. It's like every area and like every monster is always gonna start like this. I'm not really too too informed of my uh, my Japanese knowledge but that that sort of thing is the kind of stuff that you'd watch in like an NHK documentary. I don't know what it's called but let's get right into this. Okay, where is Itsushi? I I'm probably butchering most of these names by the way, so apologies for that. Um yeah. I'm just gonna skim through this because I think that if you're well versed into the Monster Hunter series, you pretty much know every single one of these aspects off by hand. Alright. Alright, where's my puppy? God damn it. Um. What the hell was that? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've, um. Oh no, I messed up. Wait, I think you can um you can hold on to the thing as well. Oh no, you can't. Wire bugs. Yep. We have already discussed this during my um my video on the demo. Few more tries to. Oh, there goes my. Oh no, that's not mine. Oh, I want to ride Friday. Where is he? Yeah, we're just drifting over here. It's a spirit bird. <laughs> mm. 
all sorts of endemic life. One of the one, one of the many things that they build up on a, a world. If they added more of these stuff for us to do buffs and all that. All right. All right. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna be. Flying ourselves some. Oh, wait, we're not flying anything. Oh, yeah, we are. Jesus Christ. I'm thinking all over the place. Oh, my God, this thing just performs so much different from Try. I haven't done a video using the weapon, using um, the Switch Axe. In the try video, but I have been using it to farm monsters, and oh my god, it's just so much different. Oh, you want me to um to carve these things? All right, then. Yes. There we go. I won't need anything else really. I'll try and do things on my off time. Sir, you do not know me on my past life. The amount of things that I've done. Oh wait, what the hell? Oh, oh I gotta, I gotta hold it. Oh my god. Um. All right. So you can't really stop making like we're finding secret locations to make new camps. I'm assuming it's only just gonna be one, one camp per um per map. So you won't be able to. I mean, the maps in this game. They're all pretty big. Yes. Although, to be fair, it's just exploration at this point. They're not, like, massive as, like, the ones you'd find in World or Iceborne. So there's, like, greater emphasis in, like, exploring, and then if you want to, like, go to another area, you can just fast travel. Not area, I mean a, a um, a tent, a camera. Oh my god. Wait, this isn't my dog. Get this clown out of here, I want my Friday, go away. That's probably just a tutorial dog, I guess, I'm guessing. Okay. First quest done, let's go. There's plenty more to come. No match for me, of course. You have no idea who you're dealing with, good sir. What else have we got? Yes. Yes, we are ready to go. Okay, so... So you got... What is this? Deliver eight fire lanterns. Unique mushrooms. Slay eight of these things, and then slay eight of these things. Alright, pretty straightforward. Alright, I shall do that on the next video, as I assume that this one is a bit long already, so until next time, see you in the next installment.